The Idol Master Gravure for You was released in nine volumes that were released monthly from October 2011 until June 2012 for the PlayStation 3. The game's genre falls under the Bashujo game genre, which literally translates into Pretty Girl Game. In this series of games, there's no real goal other than to take photos of the girls in the game. The game is based on the Idol Master series, which initially was a life simulation game and rhythm game based on Japanese idol culture. The Idol Master would later become an anime and have a number of games and various genres released. If you've never heard of a Japanese idol, it's part of Japanese pop culture where a talent agency will manufacture a pop singer slash role model that's typically admired for their sweetness and innocence. Typically the idols aren't considered serious musicians or actors and are more admired for their public image. A subset of idols are gravure models, which typically model for photo shoots that are used in magazines, photo books, and DVDs and are typically marketed towards men. Despite posing in semi-provocative poses, gravure models never appear nude. The Idol Master Gravure for You is released in a nine-part series that has no real difference between the games other than the outfits or costumes that you're able to select for the Idol Master girls to wear, and which girl you're able to talk to in the Meet Your Idol mode. Gravure for You has two primary game modes, the Meet Your Idol mode, which allows you to have a short conversation with the girl on the cover of the game, and the Photo mode, which is the game's main gameplay element. In the Photo mode, you're able to choose which of the 13 idols you'd like to take photos of, and which of the two outfits you want them to wear. The outfits are determined by which volume of the game you have, and each volume only has two. Most versions of the game usually include one fully clothed outfit and one swimsuit. Once in the actual photo mode, you're able to direct the idol as to which poses you want her to do. The poses usually have them doing a motion, then pausing with a pose at the end of it. When doing a swimsuit photo shoot, you're able to change the stance from standing to lying on the ground, which opens up more poses. You're also able to set their facial expressions. Beyond choosing poses in the photo shoot mode, you're able to move the camera around and also change the camera's field of view, making the background more or less blurry. Every photo you take is saved to your PlayStation 3's hard drive and you're able to upload them online if you have a Japanese PSN account. Overall, it's hard to say if this game's gameplay is good or bad, or if it should even be considered a game for that matter. Muddling through the menus without knowing Japanese makes it somewhat hard to direct the idol to do things that you want them to do, however it's totally playable with some common sense and some intuition. The main menus are mostly in English, however, so it's easy to get to the gameplay mode that you want to play. Graphically, this game is really good looking. It has some of the nicest looking cell shading I've seen in a game. The reason for this is most likely that they're only rendering one character on the screen and a limited background. This makes the graphics not very diverse, but what you do see does look really nice. The game's soundtrack consists of Idolmaster songs, which are simply J-pop songs. Personally, I don't really dig pop music, much less J-pop music, so I'm not really into the audio of this game. Some of the characters' voices can be annoying, in particular the main character from Volume 3, Yukiho Hagiwara's voice, which I find extremely annoying. Overall, the Gravure series for you isn't really worth checking out unless you want to take some photos of anime girls in swimsuits. The game lacks any real gameplay and makes Pokemon Snap look like an epic 80-hour RPG. Graphically, the game does look good, however, it's very limited. I wouldn't really recommend this game unless you're collecting anime games or you're really into virtual photography.